you may see oh, right behind me there, the broom on Broadway is still standing, regardless of whether it's close to the earth axis or not. Um, we're going to see how long we can keep it standing. And uh, what is it, Frank? The Broadway broom. Oh, the Broadway broom just went down. Ah. So, uh, Frank, before we get into anything else, I want to talk about some great news for our friends over at Iconic Brands. Uh, big announcement today. Hit the tape. Uh, we've known about it for a little bit here, but... Uh, Right now, there's a big article out that the biggest trend that's paying dividends in the alcoholic beverage market is celebrity and brand endorsement. Um, and you know we had CEO Richard DeCico on, DeCico on last week, and uh, you know Iconic Brands is uh, behind Christy Brinkley's uh, Prosecco. They're also behind Chaz Palmentieri's Vodka, and uh, those are big celebrity brands. And now uh, just uh, recently Hooters, uh, became a partner with Iconic on their branded spirits line. And uh, Iconic announced today that uh, the Hooters Spirits Premium line will now be available in Hooters corporate restaurants across 22 states. So um, some of them are owned by the company. Others are owned by franchisees. They're a great chain of restaurants. And uh, basically, in 22 states, you can get the Hooters Spirits now in Hooters. Outstanding. Which is great news, news for Iconic because that, of course, is... Uh, going to equate to sales, and you know they're a public company. Um, as you know, we had Richard DeChico on last week, and uh, I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy any stocks or anything else. Um, but I will tell you, um, since we met them and they've been friends of the show for a while, I've been looking at this stock very closely. Um, mm. and, and I'm a uh, stockholder. I love Frank that. Frankie's a shareholder. Um, you can see right there on the chart. Um, when they were here, and we had the big Hooters party right in the studio, um, stock was like 69 cents, and uh, now a week later with the uh, 71 cents, and now with the uh, great new announcement, it looks like it's it's up about 14% today. So your portfolio is on fire, Frankie. Well, it's not quite on fire because unfortunately I'm still holding overstock <laughs> stock, yeah. and that is it's taking a lot of uh, gains in a lot of other stocks. You know what? And there there's a lot to report there. I'm going to get into it, but there is a lot of shady business going on over there right now at overstock, and we'll get into it a little later. But if you check out Seeking Alpha. Uh, they're talking about a lot of different deals that were made oh. um, that people are questioning. So all right. we'll keep, uh, I'm a shareholder. I'm a shareholder in T0 and all that. But I was an advocate for Overstock, so I want to be honest about it, too, when there's stuff out there that's not so good. All right. Well, we're going to talk in a couple of minutes with Congressman Bob Barr about the Roger Stone case. Now, the Roger, we all know Roger Stone. A lot of the viewers know him. He's been on the show. Um, Roger Stone is going to be sentenced uh, in, uh, for his federal crimes as convicted by the Mueller team on February 20th. Now, yesterday, the Department of Justice released its recommendation for what it's going to seek in terms of prison time for Roger, and they said they're going to be seeking between seven and nine years in prison. Uh, and we, coming up in a few minutes, we'll actually remind you of what the crimes Roger is convicted of, and what I, I'm amazed that they came up with that. But somebody else that was amazed was the President of the United States, Donald John Trump. This is what the President tweeted. This is a horrible and very unfair situation. The real crimes were on the other side, as nothing happens to them cannot allow this miscarriage of justice. Well, apparently, people are listening over at the Department of Justice because it's being reported now that the Justice Department is preparing to change its sentencing recommendation for Roger Stone after top brass were shocked at the stiff prison term initially being sought. That's according to a senior DOJ official. So Donald Trump doesn't even have to pardon Roger Stone. He just has to express his displeasure with what the people of the DOJ are doing. Well, I, I, you know what? I, I think there's some sensible stuff going on yeah. over there because um, even, he's giving me the 10-9, we're going to talk about Roger Stone a lot more today and in the coming days. We're going to take a quick break, more liquid lunch right after this.